Big Time Necklace. Yo. White people be like, So many necklaces. Why you got necklaces? White people be like. People, hey, D. White people be like I got so many necklaces Why you got necklaces What animals do you think you could take in a fight All of them White people be like. Um, IG, IG and Ackley, IG Ackley, things of Prime, Club Penguin Lover, thank you so much for the five gifted, thank you very much. Um, Adrian Swag, thank you so much for the 10 months. Um, like I said, every single animal. I don't think anyone would really stand a chance against me. Um, I got hit by Bless, Ibis bro. Tellos. Five Looking good, big man. Of three months. Jeff Hawkeye, 420, thank you for the four months. Madden Cafe, thank you for the six months. Spine Rot, thank you for the eight months. Uh, Chloe Coven, thank you for the three months. Eleanor, thank you for the five months. And Sid, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you.
You're one of the prettiest people on the planet. Thank you. That's very sweet. That is a very sweet thing to say. That is very kind. All right. There we go. There we go. Welcome, guys. We're switching it up a little bit. It's an earlier stream, and usually I don't do face cam on these, but I figured I haven't done face cam in a while. Um, and I just feel like streaming right now, and I don't know if I'll stream later, so I was like, might as well just mix the two. What are we doing today? I honestly have no idea. We could do a little bit of React Andy. I feel like we haven't done React Andy in a while. Because I feel like we did a lot of it in like... December and then I was just like I became like so anti react Andy because I did it so much that I just completely dropped it so we'll we'll see also my hair is just like I don't even know what's going on with it anymore it just does whatever it wants and I like your necklace. Thank you. My mom got it for me. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Annabella, thank you for the four months. Thank you. Thanks for all the advice you give us. It truly does help Pepe L. Hey, anytime. Can we see your favorite TikToks? It was a Four fun months. stream when you showed your favorite Thanks ones. for all the advice you give us. It truly does help people. Let me see when's the last time I... I should, I'm going to randomly... I'm going to see what I... My likes, and I'm going to see what's the last time I sh when I showed you guys. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I can't even show one of these. One of these is so out of pocket, and the reason why I liked it was because... It's so dumb. It's like ridiculous. It has like a guy's dick flopping around. Well, not you. It's not the straight up dick, but it's like his bulge is like flopping all over the place. And that's, I liked it because I want to show it to my friends, but I don't think I can show it on stream. Sorry to say. Um, but no, yeah, we can look at my TikToks, I think. Should I tweet it out? Yeah, I'm going to tweet it out. Just had to take a little selfie, a little selfie for the for the Twitter. Hold up. Uh, react, Andy to Dar man. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you know, we might do one because it's been a while. It's been a while, you know, honestly, I miss the serotonin I, I got from those videos. Your hair is looking very good, thanks. Thank you. It's very sweet. It's St. Patrick's Day. Man, I wish Club Penguin had the St. Patrick's Day event because that shit is the coolest shit ever. But they don't have it. The St. Patrick's Day event was probably like my favorite event, I'm not gonna lie. Doing chill stream, doing chill, EU friendly stream, come hang out, twitch.tv slash actually. In case you guys ever wanted like a behind the scenes of how I, how I write my tweets. Well, man, I look bizarre in that picture, but it's whatever. Why am I not wearing green? Um, because St. Patrick's Day does not exist where I live. Uh, Yolking updates. Um, all the stuff's being sampled right now. There, there was a little bit of a delay because we realized like we can't do the beanies the way we wanted them to because we wanted to basically do a little bit of. We wanted them. We wanted to do them right, and if we wanted to do them our way, it would have taken too long. So we're gonna have to like move them to another drop. So we're switching the beanies for dad hats. Um. But it'll be, it'll be, you know, keep an eye out in the next month. Um, 
Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, this tweet's banging. Holy crap. Yeah, it's it's honestly been... Like, I feel like I've starved, like, a big portion of my audience. Because for the last, like, week or whatever... You know, I've been I've been going through my... Um, Why you got so many necklaces? Little mentally ill Why you got necklaces? I go live at, like, 5 a.m. for a lot of people. So I feel like a lot of people... Hi, like, Eskal, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Thing. Hey, thank you, Aaron. My lungs for the six so months. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? Three Rick months and and mixed three and months, months. Punk. Um. <clears throat> also, I have this new sweater. Why you got so many necklaces? Why you got necklaces? I don't know. It looks cool. I fuck with it. It's cool vibes. It's like my favorite sweater right now. Mm. Peepo, hey. 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 Mm, let me see what other music I have. Are you okay with people using you for Twitter profile pics? Yeah, I I'm okay with that. Um, I don't I don't really mind. I I I it, people have been doing it to me for like almost three years now this year. <laughs> So I'm definitely I I would say I'm more white used to it like. than I was at the start, um, and I mean in some pictures I look pretty 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 darn hot, so I can't blame anyone. Um, also one thing I so I think at one point someone wanted to make like a Spotify account for me, and then like a bunch of people like hopped out on them and said said like oh no why would you do this you freak he said he's not comfortable with it I don't really care if you have a spot if there's a Spotify account that puts everything that I listen to. Cause I have no shame. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I like. I don't give a single fuck. I. I do. I think the reason why people think that I wasn't comfortable with it is because one time I pointed out how someone had notifications on for the Sapnap Spotify account, and I do think that's that's a little bit much. I don't know if I don't know if anybody should care that much about what anyone's listening to on Spotify. Like even if it was your mom, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's good to appreciate your mom, but like if your mom had like a Twitter account where it tweeted out every time. She had like a Spotify song. Like it'd be kind of weird if you had Notifs on. Like you can follow it. That's cool. You know, it's cool. It's it's, I it's understandable to kind of want to be like, oh, I wonder, what my, what 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 my mom's listening to on Spotify. But I don't know if I need like real time updates. You know, I'd be scared to listen to music. Listen, man. At this point, I just give so little of a fuck about anything that. Y'all could catch me listening to AGR, which you won't, because I don't listen to AGR, but if you did, I don't give a fuck. I have no shame about anything anymore. All my mom listens to is J-Lo. All my mom listens to is, um, the fucking song that's, like, in the credits of Uncut Gems. The one that's like, do-do-do-do, do-do-do, that's really all she listens to. I'm not even joking. I hear that song, like, ten times a day. It's a good song, but... I just wish, like, I didn't have to hear it every day, all day. Wait, I want to listen to this one song. Oh, this song. Um, on Friday, after Ego Rejects, me and Mix are going to play Roblox. Um, so that's, like... I don't know. I think it, that's like 4 p 4 a.m. GMT time, which is like her time for British time or whatever the fuck. Um, I don't know what time that is for you, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up. You know what I'm really glad that's like finally being talked about is the fact how like um this is like completely random, but. I'm glad that finally the the fucking like just the bullshit that like women streamers have to put up with, like, like it, it's like it's like good to hold people accountable, but like I've been I've been noticing this for a while where I feel like there's been a lot of female streamers that get piled onto for doing things that I feel like a lot of men have done way worse, you know. I'm not going to name any names, but when your favorite male content creator is fucking flying all over the country doing a fucking press tour during coronavirus and you don't mention a single word, 
and then when you know you see a you see a girl even like walking out the door and suddenly you're so woke about corona it's like come on bro like what are you doing like it, it's good to you know it's good to be aware of these things and it's good to be woke but this only works if you hold everyone to a consistent standard and it's 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 a real fucking shame when i feel like people just um you know where i when people just like pile on to I, it 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 also just happens to a lot of people in general where I feel like there's some people where people have like um kind of like a yearning to like I don't know hate on them so when somebody takes one misstep they just use that as an excuse to go like all in on them and they just like literally just like boom 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 like I think it's nice that you know there's you know, there's some, um, there's some content creators who I know a lot of people like that have done, you know, things that I'm glad that they're being held accountable for. But it feels like whenever one of them is in a situation like that, everyone all of a sudden knows how to take the rational approach. Everyone like writes like rational Twitter threads. But when it's like someone they don't like, the Twitter threads are so much more hostile and they literally like promote so much more hatred. So it's like... Why don't we, you know, why don't we kind of, like, try to, like, take the same approach to everyone? You know? Like, I don't know, man. I just, you guys got to be careful, you know? Like, you got to be careful about the things you say online. Because at the end of the day, when you, like, fucking start tweeting at people, you know, I feel like some people think the reason why they, like, tweet all this bullshit at creators is because they think they don't see it. But in reality, I think creators see a lot more than you think. So, like, when you tell them to, like, for example, you know, KYS, they'll probably see it. And that doesn't feel too good, you know? Just imagine if somebody told you that. Have you seen David Dobrik's video? Oh, that is just fucking pathetic. First of all, you cannot tell me that an apology is genuine when you, you know, when you, first of all disable likes and disable comments you're not you're not even looking to like have a fucking conversation like and then second of all what the fuck did he even say in that he addressed like one of the fucking 800 things that him and his little buddies have done wrong and all he did was like yeah guys i you know i missed the mark on that one but you know i have friends that have done really disappointing things and i just had to distance myself because it's them man like i i didn't i didn't do any of this the sad reality is that there's a lot of um this, you know, this is putting it bluntly. A lot of shitty people that you see in this industry and in and around this industry, the main reason why they're like this is because the people I, on, on them either enable their behavior or they ignore it because it's more convenient for them to do so. That is the main reason why a lot of people get away with the shit they do because their own friends don't hold them accountable. People are so quick to just look to the look the other way when it comes to their friend, you know? Um... I've noticed this a lot with content creators. You know, there's a lot of shit that goes on behind the scenes where I feel like people should hold their friends accountable, but because it's more convenient for them, they just kind of like sweep everything on the rug and they're like, oh, you know, what am I supposed to do? <sighs> I, it, it's just really, I don't know, man. There needs to be like a change. Like seriously, there, there just needs to be a change on this. People need to do better. There have been times where I've needed to do better, and I, 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 I've, I've really tried to rigorously, you know, um, apply that to myself. Because I look back at, you know, a few, like, I don't think I've ever been involved in anything, like, super bad. But there have definitely been times where, like, my friends have acted like assholes, and I haven't called them out. And there's been times where I've acted like assholes, and I feel like, you know, the people around me at the time didn't call me out. And it's, I feel like it, there's so much benefit to if everybody's just honest with everyone. Like, if your friends don't hold you accountable, then they're not your friends, to be honest with you. David Dobrik exploits people's insecurities. No, yeah. Literally, what he... Like, I was thinking about it this way. The, like, I feel like David finds really shitty people, and then he exploits all the shitty th thing. <coughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Um, He exploits all their shittiness, and then completely enables them. And then once he, like gets his use out of them, gets his content, he throws them under the bus and says, like, oh, what the... I didn't have any idea this was going on. This guy's a total shithead, but <laughs> this came out of completely left field. Like, I had no fucking idea what was going on here, guys. 
I gotta distance myself. Like, just because, like, you weren't the one that was doing the shitty thing does not mean you are not also in trouble here. You know? Like, the whole, um... I'm gonna be honest, I feel I felt really fucking gross last night reading about all the shit that people were saying about David Dobrik because I remember watching the exact vlog that they talk about Dom, uh, you know, the whole Dom controversy. I remember watching that exact vlog and it just really fell off to me. It just, I, that exact vlog, I, I really did not feel good to me. And there's been so many vlogs where I would watch it and this is where I feel bad about my, like, I know, like, I'm, like, one person in, like, the millions of people that watched it. But there were quite a few David Dobrik vlogs where I feel like I watched it and I was uncomfortable. And I feel like the reason why I never even pointed it out to people was just because everybody else was just, like, kind of cool with it, too. So I was like, it must just be, like, in my head. Um, but I don't know. I always, I just feel kind of bad about that. Feel about, feel bad about watching that shit. Like, I remember pretty early into uh, the whole, I don't know, like, this must have been, like, two years ago now. I just always felt really bad about, like, for example, the way they treated Jonah. Like, it always just sat wrong to me how in the vlogs, you could see that every single time there was a joke, it was never at the expense of David. It was always, like, it was always at the expense of his friends. And that, to me, it just, it reminds me of situations that I've been a part of. I have definitely been the butt of the joke a lot in my life. And it does not feel good when you're literally always the butt of the joke. When some, when there's a person that always, for some reason, targets you and makes you the butt of the joke every time, it's, it's just not good. And here's another thing, right? I feel like when it comes to, like, online content, a lot of people really, there's a lot of behavior that gets excused on the basis of, oh, like, they play it up for the cameras or like, oh, it's a character. This is a character. That's a character. Everything's played up for the cameras. But it's like, there's a limit with that. You know, I get it. There's characters, you know, uh, you know, actually in Excel, they're completely different people, <laughs> you know. Um, but like, for example, when David pulls out his fucking camera at like a party, you're, exp you're, you're trying to tell me that like everybody suddenly becomes like this like satirical character. Like with one snap, they see David's camera out and they snap into this like, demonic character like no that's just who they are man like seriously the fact that his name isn't even jonah yeah that that, that that as well is just like wow nice david you just like you saw another overweight person it's like oh wow you, you're, so you're, just, you're just like this other overweight Why person like, wow that's crazy you don't want no smoke so ask for the check please dot i just made a big bank i just bought a bentley dot always on your mind b i be living rent free inbuilt differently i am built differently not as thank you quackers thank you and thank you venus rose for the prime i don't know man it's it's all just there's I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Hey, what's up, Stonepa? There's a lot of fucking weirdos in and around content creation that I feel like I've had experiences with. I've had very unco uncomfortable experiences with people that nobody else, like, it legitimately makes me feel insane sometimes because I feel like there's people that, like, I have a really uncomfortable experience with somebody, but then everybody else, like, loves that person. And I legitimately feel like I'm going insane. Um... So it's like, I don't know, man. There's just a lot to cover here. A lot of a lot of weirdos around. Um Yeah, it's like alienation. It it literally is. Like there's just people where I'm like I don't get it. Like does nobody else like see what I see? <laughs> <sighs> It is what it is, though. I just, like, here's the thing, right? How can anybody think that David Dobrik's bullshit fucking apology is genuine when he literally sent one of his friends to, like, do the dirty work for him and, like, provided him with all the screenshots and shit? And then when that didn't work, he finally was like, okay, all right, guys, I guess, you know, I might have missed the mark on this one, guys. Like, Man, fuck that. Like, seriously. And then he puts it on his, like, least popular channel. Like, motherfucker, you could have at least put it on David Dobrik, too. 
in what sense does that make that should make sense that it goes on the views channel like what are you i don't know man i just think he really made everything a lot worse for himself if he would have right now come forward to been like listen guys um here's everything that's fucked up and that's happened and like we need to do better we need to do better about this no he didn't do this and now i feel like he's really shown what a person he is he doesn't give a fuck <clears throat> Bro, there was so much earwax in my left ear specifically. I'm glad you got it out, Stonepot. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've just thought David was weird for a while. Um, But now it's like, it's insane how like, um, like I look back at it, I'm like, we, like I used to find David hilarious. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. I think we all did. And now I look back at the same stuff and I'm like, what the fuck was wrong with me? Like all this guy does is like, do these forced fucking jokes. And then he's anti he's so anti-Semitic and no one's talking about it. Dude, that clip with Jason is fucked up. Like that that whole clip where Jason is talking about his like incredibly awful anti-Semitic experience. And David goes like, No man, like that's not that's not bad. That's just, you know, people are like uh, people are fucking around. Like, how tell me how like people throwing coins at Jewish people is just people fucking around. Like, what are you... Like, what are you... What the fuck are you on, bro? It's just words. Yeah, like, what... <laughs> it's just words. Bro, there have been wars that have been started over words. We cannot keep fucking pushing that narrative that words don't matter. Words very fucking clearly matter, bro. Okay? They're, like... Here's the thing, right? The same motherfuckers that, like... um. <laughs> the same motherfuckers that will be like, Oh, it's just words. Like, they'll get so angry, like, when you fucking criticize their favorite Republican commentator like it isn't like also words like me saying Jordan B. Peterson is a fraud is also just words so it's like why are you getting mad like seriously like what why are you so mad about it Ugh, I don't know man <clears throat> opinions on H3 in this conversation I've been an H3 viewer since I think he had like 100k subs. I've been there for a very long time. And Ethan is really interesting in the sense where like sometimes I really, I really like Ethan. And I think overall Ethan is a good guy. But sometimes I think he really does get carried away. Like I do think he's getting a little bit carried away with like I feel like his podcast is now just turning into I'm going to like mercilessly attack every single person that even remotely annoys me. Like here's the thing, right? Philip DeFranco, they were right about Philip DeFranco being a pussy for not covering the story. They were 100% right about that. I don't think them fucking body shaming him is okay, though. Like, I think that's a little bit fucking weird. Like, when you have a genuine problem with someone, you should talk about the genuine problem you have with them and not resort to, like, attacks on their physical appearance. Like, that's what never sits right with, with me. Like, there's a lot of fucking people that I don't like, but not once have I ever even thought about making fun of their appearance. Because their appearance is fucking irrelevant to the conversation. What matters is their actions and shit, man. Also, Trisha hating Jax films just because he doesn't talk to her. Listen, anybody who hates Jax films, that's just out of pocket, man. That's, that's fucked up. I don't know, man. Like, what the hell was that whole, like, um, where Ethan went on the deep end? What the fuck is he doing now? Go back to wearing big beanie and watching Papa John. Yeah, I... I mean, it's interesting to see, like, Ethan's, like, um... Progression. And I... I at the start of Frenemies, I really did like him again. But now I'm just like, Ethan, you gotta chill a little bit. And also, you know... I don't know. It's interesting because... I've been around for so long. So now I have, like... I have literally mutual friends with, like, everyone. Like, there's, there's literally... Like, every single person you can think of, I know someone that knows them. And then be based off that, like, I know, like, more shit about them. And it just makes me look at them differently. Like, it's just, like, it's weird. He's in. I am in. I, I don't know if I ever told you this, but, like, at one point, um, at one point I was, uh, <laughs> this was really so random. Because if I would have actually been invited, I don't know how the fuck this would have worked. Um... 
but apparently at one point I was on like a short list to play Among Us with H3 and like a bunch of other people. And I don't know how the fuck that would have been. Like, I don't even know <laughs> how that would have happened, but that would have been really just random. Was you talking about Carl when you were speaking about creators traveling around the world? Yes, about Carl and like a hundred other people. It wasn't specific about Carl. Like, I don't have any beef with Carl. I'm just saying like, not everybody clearly is not held to the same standard. There's like a hundred people that are doing the same exact th shit that he's doing and only like, people like nitpick like, who to get mad at, you know? Like, if Bryce Hall does that shit, cause you know, Bryce Hall is not a very likable guy. Everybody piles onto it. <laughs> That's my whole point. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to fucking call Carl Jacob out. I don't really give a shit about that. But um, you know, I'm just saying. Let's let's be consistent with everyone. And also, I feel like creators need to like kind of set like a precedent. Like, here's the thing, right? I feel like just because. You know, here's the thing, right? Motherfuckers can be like, oh my god, we got tested, like, we got, we got, we did 10 tests before we went everywhere, we wore masks. Um, but it's like, you kind of, I feel like we, you need to kind of set, like, an influence for people. You kind of need to be a role model. And it's like, you can just kind of, like, you know, like, we're got, vaccines are rolling out, man. Like, probably by, like, September, October, you can probably go wherever the fuck you want. So it's like, why can't you just wait? Like, why can't you just wait another few months like everyone else has to wait? Why do you... Like, I don't get it, man. <clears throat> What's up, Ophelia Bear? Thank you. I hope you have a great day, too. <laughs> it's like... I don't know, man. Like, you know, obviously, I always preface this with the same stuff I always say, where it's like, whenever I talk about stands, I am not talking about all stands. My view on stand culture has always been that I think for the majority, I think it's good. I think it brings a lot of people with common interests together. I think it helps a lot of people meet similar people. I think it helps out a lot of artists, a lot of, a lot of great people. Um, but, you know, there's obviously some people that I feel like get a little bit too invested, which, you know, um, you know, I, I, I feel like. Like, for example, I said, like, one positive thing about Dream, and then I was hailed as, like, the fucking Dream Savior, the Dream Defender. Like, all the Dream SAP stands were like, oh my god, he literally put his neck out on the line for Dream. And I just said, like, you know, saying that his saying that just because his designs are so simple means they're bad, that's just not how art works. Art isn't on the basis of, like, more equals better, you know? Um, so, the you know, and then it's like, and then when it's like I made fun of their chat... They immediately were like, you know what, fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. You fucking asshole. You're a fucking asshole. Stop talking about him. You're obsessed. Like, chill out, man. I was, I didn't even, I didn't even fucking say anything that was that bad, man. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my God, what's up, Nick? I'm sorry, I, I must have missed your first message. It's because you're not verified, man. You got to stream. I got hit by a bus, bro. I don't know, man. My best friend died of COVID and I couldn't even go visit her in the oh, hospital. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. So That's no, awful. I didn't watch people who travel during a global pandemic when all you need to do is screen share. Yeah, that it 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 is very frustrating. Cause I feel like there's some people like I don't know. First of all, I, I am sorry, Bay Marie, I'm sorry to hear that. Um but it, I understand, like, especially in situations like that, it's very frustrating watching people not take it Eight seriously. Eight months. Like, people can't sit still for, like, a couple more months when, then, like, I, for example, I have legitimately, at one point, I felt like I was the only fucking person in Estonia taking COVID seriously. Like, I've been wearing masks since, like, last year. I've been wearing masks for a year, and for a while, I would go outside, and people would literally give me weird looks for wearing a mask. Like, I'm the fucking idiot here. Like, I'm the one that's, like, dumb for, like, wearing a mask. And it was so frustrating. And then, like, I've barely even gone outside. Like, anything that I can do without going outside, I've I've done without because I live with my grandmother and also my mother. And I don't want to risk any of that shit. Luckily, when me and my mom got COVID, my grandmother did not somehow. 
um, which was very fortunate, I think. Um, or if she did, it didn't it didn't show any symptoms. But it's like, it's shit like that. Like, it's like I've been staying inside for all year, and I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it because I think I'm in a very fortunate position. Um, you know, like I think. There's a lot of people who in the last year have had to worry about bills and shit. My job revolves around me sitting in my room. So I haven't had to worry about that at all, especially thanks to you guys. And I think that's the bigger problem. You know, it's 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 not going to kill me to sit inside. Um, and, you know, I know that this is all temporary. Um, but then some motherfuckers have to sit inside for like fucking a month inside their big ass house. Like, I, I can't even leave my room, man. I got no space in my room anymore. It was like, I, got, I, I literally have to, like, climb over my bed to get out, dude. <laughs> There's no fucking space in my room. Like, I, I, I'm just waiting to fucking move. Um, and it's like, it's just, I don't know, man. It just pisses me off. To, like, oh, no, I had to sit inside of my mansion for three weeks. Oh, I'm going to fucking die. This is so unbearable. Like, shut up, bro. Seriously. Masks aren't even hard to wear. Exactly, man. Like. I understand, you know, it can be annoying if you have glasses, but there's, like, motherfucker, you've seen the life hacks. Don't fucking sit here and complain about how, oh my god, my glasses are gonna fuck up. You've seen the fucking life hacks, you've seen the fixes to that, okay? You're just choosing to complain, alright? Also, if you get, like, an actual mask, like, I have my mask right here. If you get a mask that's actually, like, more than, like, five dollars, it has a thing at the top where, like, you can, like, pinch it, and then the air doesn't go through there. You know? Yeah, Estonia mask, dude. I'm I'm so patriotic. Also, the funniest thing is when people like keep telling me it's like, dude, I swear to God, I saw you yesterday. No, you didn't, motherfucker. I haven't gone anywhere. You're seeing demons is what you're seeing if you think you're seeing me. Also, someone like DM'd me and was like, Were you at this mall in Connecticut? Cause I swear to god I saw you like how the fuck would I even be in Connecticut right now? Like, seriously, how the fuck? First of all, why? Why the fuck would I ever be in Connecticut? And how? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, seriously. It really is just... Crazy. I saw Bernie Sanders yesterday. God, I fucking missed that, man. It's... You know what? I used to feel bad. For some Americans, some Americans I used to feel bad for because I was like, you know, your country's just built up to like fuck you over. But then it's also like some of y'all had a chance to save the country, man. And some of y'all were like, oh, free healthcare is a, it's not real. Shut the fuck up, man. I mean, I have to pay more in taxes if there's free healthcare. Like, how we how, like, can you not do the math on that? Yes, you're going to pay more in taxes. But like. Do you like fucking like you're you you don't have to like you know you're gonna pay less on insurance you're gonna save money you're gonna save money you're gonna get a better health care that won't fuck you over like I don't know man <laughs> dude TikTok is insane man TikTok is literally insane TikTok is just crazy I don't know what's wrong with people on that app man. <clears throat> React Andy? Oh yeah, I'll start it soon. Sorry, I've been I've been going on my what monologue. I've been going on my monologue. I'm actually really happy that I live in Estonia now. LOL. No, yeah, there's definitely like I'm not gonna lie, literally every time there's this thing about America where, like, I've talked to about it uh, for, with other people that are not American, where it's, like, so different when you go to America. Because, like, for example, when I go to the UK or when I go to, like, literally any other country, I've always felt like even if, like, something goes wrong for me, I feel like the country has, like, an infrastructure that's kind of, like, built up to look after me or at least take care of me, right? Every time I'm in the U.S., I legitimately just feel like it's just, like, it's just me. Like, I'm on my own, you know? I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't, like, every, like, every time in the U.S., I just feel like, like, nothing in this country is, like, will actually, like, help me. You know? It's just fucking crazy. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
<clears throat> well, I mean, it's not a European country, so I guess there's a difference. Yeah, but then it's like, um, you know, so why are you moving then? Because I think at the end of the day, there's like, you know, I, I used to say like, oh, I'm never going to move to the U.S. because I don't like the country. And it's true. I don't like the country, but it's like. I kind of just want to be around my friends. Like, I'm going to be real. You know, I, I just, I kind of want to be around my friends. It's, I, I've lived away from my friends for literally like so long. And my friends could literally live in like a little, little ditch. Um, and I, I, I would probably move there. I don't think I'm going to move to the U.S. forever. Like, I don't think you'll see my ass getting American citizenship ever, but I think, you know, it's just a little bit of a, just a little bit of a phase that I need to go through. White people be like. Tamajin, thank you for the eight months. Holy shit, thank you. Thank you. White, White people sells be like. American arc, true. What about Estonia's declining population? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to contribute to it in any way. I don't know. You know, it's just like, I'm, I, it's, it's going down, but it's like, you know, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, Estonia's population is declining, but that is the case for a lot of like European countries and just a lot of countries in the world in general. I feel like um, it's like a cultural shift where I feel like a lot of countries, they reach a certain point where people just aren't having enough kids anymore. Either that or people just move out of the country because there's better opportunities abroad. Do I think that streaming is part of your future? Yes. I think so. I, I do like streaming a lot. Um, but I don't think I'm going to like so do it forever. You Why know? you got necklace? Sammy, thank you for the five months. A lot of people don't feel forced to have kids anymore. No, yeah, like, I think one of the reasons why we're facing, like, um, a population decline in some areas is because we just kind of overpopulated ourselves with the culture we used to have, where it was kind of like, okay, you're out of school now. Now you got to find the love of your life and get married and have like two kids by the time you're 22. Like, that's the reason why I feel like we White have people so many be people like. right now is because that was the culture for a while. And now that that culture is not a thing anymore, I feel like it's like the, the population amount, what it really is doing, it's kind of like stabilizing, you know? Like, we don't need to always have like, I don't know, man. I just think it's funny, like, the excuses that people like, the conservatives here, for example, always manage to blame the gay people on the population decline like somehow there's suddenly so many gay people that like literally everybody's just having gay sex and nobody is having babies anymore which i mean that's like a utopia like that i wish that was the case man um but then at the same time they say like oh we can't legalize gay marriage what is there's like 500 gay people like that is it doesn't even matter <laughs> like how are, you can't have both bro if there's that many gay people where it's like literally declining the population, maybe we really do need to like look into gay marriage, huh? You ever thought about that? Like that's a pretty big size of the population if it's if it's really like making the population decline. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about children, man. I can't really imagine myself being a father. But if I was a father, I would really, I, I would go all in, I feel like, because it would be my duty. I don't want my child to be fucked up. I don't want my child to like, you know, I don't want my child to be like, commenting on like Father's Day TikToks being like, oh, I can't relate. You know, I don't want my child to be one of those. You're also so young. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite part, though. Like whenever I say like, I don't like I'm just like unsure about kids right now. All of like my fucking millennial relatives go like, no, no, you're gonna, you're gonna get baby fever. Like, you're gonna want to have a child soon. Like, in the next few years, you're gonna have developments. Like, I might, but it's also like, I don't know. I feel like culture is different nowadays. Like, I might not. Like, I don't know. I don't fucking care, man. I don't even want to think about it until I'm like 30. My 20s are for me, man. All right? I'm not trying to fucking be like 24 and like take my kid to kindergarten. I gotta like get a driver's license and shit. No, man. I'm trying to live it up for me right now. Like, I gotta be like, oh, sorry, guys, no stream. My fucking son just pooped the bed, and I gotta, like, buy a new mattress. Like, I don't wanna fucking... That's not an arc that I'm, like, I want right now. Like, I want an arc where I'm, like, 
um, you know, like, oh, guys, I'm, I got bored. I'm going to, like, fucking, like, disappear. Like, I don't know. Like, I have... See, here's the thing about my life right now that I love, right? I'm single. I don't have any children, believe it or not. I can do whatever the fuck I want, man. There's no commitments. I have no commitments. Do you know how freeing that is? I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's good. Aren't you a millennial? No, I'm not a fucking millennial. You know who's a millennial? Wilbur Suit is a millennial. I'm not a millennial. Dude, that is literally, I'm not gonna lie, that was insane to me. Somebody tweeted at me, he was like, Wilbur Suit's a millennial, and I was like, what? And I looked up, he is really like, if he was born like five months later, he wouldn't have been a millennial, but he is. And that's crazy to me. I'm Gen Z, baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That was really the plot of Mamma Mia without the kid. I live in Mamma Mia every single day. Mm. It's also like we realize that parenting needs to be taken seriously because we've seen the trauma, so we don't want to rush it. No, yeah, parenting is real shit. Like when you're when you're when your child is small, like you gotta you gotta do shit right, otherwise. I'm not gonna lie, man. Kids are tender. Like, if you take one wrong step, who knows? That shit might fuck them up for the rest of their life. Like, the brain is, like, crazy the way it works at that age. Like, I look back at, like, some minuscule things that I that happened in my life, and I'm like, damn, like, that kind of snowballed. And now I'm, like, all sorts of fucked up. Like, I do weird noises on stream now. Um, Guppy for my card. I think it's 100 bits. Thank you. Bad Boy Halo is a millennial. White people be like... That's true, actually. G -R -R. That is true. Mark Zuck Lover. Thank you for four months. Also, it's like, you know, the thing is, like, that's the problem with it is, like, if I had a kid, right, I would have to commit to it. Like, sometimes I'll be like, oh, man, like, Kalen Weston Hoover are calling. They're playing Fortnite. I want to play. But then it's like, no, like, I, I've got to be awake by that time. And I got to, like, take my kid to school. Like, I don't want to fucking sacrifice that for a child right now. If it did happen, I would sacrifice it. But, like, I don't want to. But if it, you know, if I had to, I would. But I don't want to. Also, how would I, like, move it, move to, like, move in with my friends if I have a kid? I can't fucking... I, like, I would literally be stuck here. If I had a child right here, I'd be stuck here. Where the fuck my child would be? I'd be stuck there. I don't want to be stuck anywhere. That's terrifying. There's no way you're 32. I'm not 32. How the fuck is that still? How do people still believe that? Famous birthdays has legitimately ruined my life. Google says you're 32. Google is full of shit, man. Google also says I'm 5'7 and that like some websites say I'm like straight up gay. All right. I'm not gay. Only a little bit. I'm bisexual. <laughs> I'm not 23. <laughs> I'm 22. Yeah. Dude, if I was 32, that is legitimately terrifying. Like, I'll be... That's like 10 years away. What the hell am I going to be when I'm 32? That's scary. Didn't realize how old this guy was. Stone I just realized I have, no, I have no idea how old you are. <laughs> Stonepot could literally be like 26, and I I would have no idea. Oh, wow, it is Devin Carly's birthday. Noel Miller is 32. What? Wait, he's Canadian too? That is literally crazy. You sort of look like you're 32. Literally, the only reason that is is because of my facial hair. If whenever I shave my facial hair, people think I'm like 14. It is so funny. Hold on, let me... What spot am I at on Famous Birthdays now? 2,452. Have I gone down? Shit.
shit, I think I have gone down. Yeah, that fucking child is in front of me again. They kicked me down, man. They fucked me over. That is... That is bullshit, man. I'm in my flop era. <clears throat> Noel Miller, it, it makes sense that he's 31 now. Because sometimes I look at, like, the stand-up that he does on his stream, and I'm like, damn, this is some millennial-ass humor. And then I realize, like, he is... I mean, that's literally what he is. How old is Cody Co? Wow, 30. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> God, you know what the worst part is, man? I'm only, like, five years off from being, like, seriously out of touch. Like, it's happening, bro. It's already happening. Like, I look at the shit, like, like, teenagers are doing on TikTok, and there are times where I don't get it anymore, man. It's happening. It's happening to me, bro. It, time's flying by, man. I'm I'm out of touch already. <sighs> That's terrifying. That is so scary. That's young. 30 in life is just starting. Not if you're an influencer. Fuck. Next year, I'll be 24. Dude. For your 24th birthday party, Nick. Because 20 frames of Nick, I say we go to Vegas and we make it a night that we won't even remember, man. Let's get fucked up. All right, let's do the Hangover movie. But instead of like the original cast, it's me, you, Weston Hoover. <laughs> I would actually pay for the Hangover movie with us replacing the cast. Egg abroad, but it's like egg in Vegas. It's okay, Phil's. I was like 50 years old. Okay. Here's what I... I this is my... <clears throat> what the fuck is happening? <clears throat> Here is, like... Here's my... Here, here's something that I've always been curious about, like... Um, Philza. Like, what is this demographic? Like, I've always, like... Are there, like... <laughs> I've always been... <laughs> like... <laughs> I can't believe my voice cracks, but it's like, I've always been curious, like, what his demographic is, because, like, I feel like it's, like, half, like, 35-year-olds, and also, like, half, like, 16-year-old girls going in a shot, like, oh, my God. Definitely a lot of Redditors, I feel like. I feel like he has, like, such, like, an interesting, like, split of an audience. Hmm. <clears throat> People who have daddy issues? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I love Filza. I love Filza. I opened the stream one day and he was like talking about the streamers that he watched. And he was like, yeah, I don't know. Like sometimes I watch like Summit and Shroud. And I was like, you know what? That actually makes sense. That literally makes perfect sense that he would watch Summit. Because I don't know how many of you know who Summit is. You know, no disrespect to Summit, but sometimes I look at this guy's stream and I'm like, who the fuck is watching this? This guy, I one time I opened a stream, this motherfucker didn't say a word for five minutes. This guy just plays games like he's not even on stream. <laughs> but it's like, it's like this, like, he's like dream for like 30, 35 year old men. Like 35 year old men develop parasocial relationships with like Summit 1G and like Tim the Tap Man. Like 35 year old men are like taking money out of their like family bank account and giving like these people money. How was Jack Manifold 18? Sometimes, sometimes like late at night, I think about how Jack Manifold could be like a secret agent. Like, does he not have like, like that kind of vibe? Like the way he like talks, it feels like he's like a secret agent. Like he's on a mission. I don't know how to explain it. Like he has this like vibe about him. He's like a Bond villain. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes the way he just talks is like, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, the bigger thing is Rambu being like, Rambu is like 17. That motherfucker talks like he's 35. <laughs> like, I'm sure that if like, we got like a face reveal or whatever, I feel like it would make more sense. But like, the way he talks... Can we talk about Mr. Beast being 22? Okay, that that's fucking crazy. 
but it's also not because I feel like I've I've known about Mr. Beast for so long because he used to be in and around like a lot of people that I used to be friends with um, before he blew up. And I remember, I remember like, I always remember me and him being the same age. But now he's like, he's, it feels like he's like been in our vision for so long that it makes him feel like he's so much like older and crazier, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try something new with that hair. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> I think Tubbo has such a bright future on Twitch. Like, I think Tubbo is just like, Tubbo just like, I feel like he out of like, the Dream SMP people, like, I feel like he has, like, the, like, I don't know, like, he has the best appeal to, I feel like, just, like, anyone that doesn't even watch Dream SMP. Like, I, I'll put on Tubbo's stream sometimes, just because he's a, he's a chill guy. I feel like he gets the vibe. He's a very nice guy, it seems like. So, yeah, I'm a Tubbo stan. Hmm. Let's see who else was born in 1998. Uh, Larray. Uh, hot take. Uh, I don't know how nobody sees through how these fucking, like, makeup YouTubers are just leeching off Minecraft YouTubers. Like, I don't know how anybody, does nobody else, like, see through that? How they're just, it's, like, really fucking leechy behavior. Like, literally all these makeup YouTubers do, you've seen them do this with every person. Whenever they see that someone is, like, doing well, these makeup YouTubers show up in hordes and just suddenly, like, embrace everything they do. Like... That's, that's literally, like, their way of staying relevant. Like, this motherfucker James Charles gets called out for shit, and all of a sudden he's, like, panic-tweeting at, like, every fucking Minecraft YouTuber to, like, drive away, like, attention from it. Like, it's it's insane. I don't know. Tana Mojo's 22? That's crazy. But it also kind of makes sense. Tifu. Roddy Rich. <clears throat> Conan Gray. Who is that guy? Oh, Singer. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, how old is Lil Huddy? Lil Huddy. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> Hamza just texted me about taxes and he's watching. Uh, Hamza, to answer your question, I don't know. I honestly might do. I haven't checked. I know that YouTube recently did it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, I love how you sent the screenshot of you watching my stream. Yo, shout out to Hamza. I, I fucking love Hamza, man. I think Hamza also has such a great future on Twitch. I think... I think Hamza is such a such a funny guy. And I think the fact that he's embracing Twitch for what it is 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 great. And also respect for teaching TikTokers how to use emotes. I just did my taxes with scary man. Taxes make me pee my pants. It's always a little bit nervy. That's awesome how my viewers pay taxes. I just thought y'all either like white like people 14 like. or you evaded them. Round what up? How's it going, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie KMK. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you. Y'all gotta stop saying you're evading them in public, cause the IRS is probably watching my stream. I have a very, I have a very large reach, so there's probably IRS people watching. Or you know what? Someone's dad probably works at the IRS, and they're noting down all your names. So, Chase Hudson is 18 years old. He's turning 19 soon. Wow. Chase Hudson. Listen, I need to address something, okay? I don't know. I need to find this picture first.
Um, I don't actually know where I would find it in. Whatever. It's the picture of me, Weston, and Wilbur at Hibachi. Um, and I think, like, Weston leaked it or something. And people people were like, oh, my God, why is he looking? Why is he so close to his phone? There was no room, okay? There was no room for me to put my hands anywhere. Like, if I didn't want my phone this close to my face, I would have had to have my arm over my bro. food. Bless like, bro. I, this was literally all the space my I had. My brother so I has a parasocial like relationship with Joe Rogan. How do I show him to the light? My brother has a parasocial relationship with Joe Rogan. How do I show him to the light? I don't know how to save those people, honestly. Like, I think... I think that's really, like, crazy. Um, like, that. that is really, like... That is, like... Joe people Joe Rogan stands are literally like uh, on a whole other level. We actually I think I know where to find it in. What the fuck is this account called? This account is actually really funny. It's like a it's like a viewer account. I think it's called like Core 4 Shady Facts or something. It like shows up on my feed every now and then because like I follow my mods and then my mods like it and then um what is it? How do I find it? Core 4 Shady Fact? What does that even mean, Core 4 Shady Fact? What's shady about the facts? Um, You know what, let me let me pull it up so I can, like, honestly just, like, give you guys a shout-out. Whoever runs this account, because this account's actually pretty funny, so. I got hit by a bus, bro. <clears throat> I've been watching you for so long. I love you, old man. And ways I gave my Twitch Prime to you. Thank you, Venus. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you. Anyone who gives my Prime, like gives their Prime to me, I just I feel like a connection in a way. Like I just think it's like I feel it's it's very sweet because it's like you. It's like a you only get one a month and you decided to give it to me. So it's like, um, what age is Hoover? Uh, he's like twenty five. Let me let me let me show this. Hold on, let me just find the tweet because I think they tweeted it out. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. This is the picture. It's me, Weston, uh, Elodie, and Wilbur. And everybody was like, "Why is he sitting? Why is he so like? What's wrong with this guy? Like, is that a, like? Why is he like this? Like, what is like?" Why, why can't it, like, why isn't he, like, being normal? And it's like, I didn't have any room, man. Look at this. Look at, look at the set, the setup I have here. And I couldn't even back my chair up, because I remember at one point I did. And, um, the waiter, like, almost, like, stumbled on my chair, and I felt really bad. So then I, like, pulled my chair real close to the table. There's not a lot of room at all. Like, where am I supposed to put my phone? Where? Where? There's no, there's no, nowhere to put my phone. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty funny picture. Um... This account in general is is just very funny. Um, <laughs> I th I think I saw a tweet. Wait, what are they? Be they've been they've been. Oh my god, they've been they've been live tweeting me. Knowing that Oxel is the same generation as me feels wrong. Man is like my content creator grandfather. That's true. Uh, streamer and content creator are actually outside the Grand Mall of Connecticut without a mask and whopping a head of hair, and a whopping head of hair. Oh, okay. Um. What was a tweet I saw? Oh, this. <laughs> the random people walking in LA that Weston and Caitlin film in coffee camp because they look famous. Like, I remember one time, like, um, we were we were like going through like uh, Weston's Finsta, just in call. We were like looking through memories and shit, and then I realized like Weston will just see a man that like kind of looks like Flula, and then he will take a picture of it. They, he'll take a picture of a random guy just sitting in a coffee shop, and he'll be like. I swear to God, that was Flula, man. And I'm like, that you can't do that. That's weird. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. And then the thing is, he will take these pictures and then he'll send them to me and like be like, hey, um, he'll be like, hey, I just met Alfie Days. Like he did this to me. He said, I just met Marcus Butler. He went up to this guy and asked to take a picture with him. And he said, he said, I, I just met Marcus Butler. And I believe them. Cause like, why would you just like lie about that why would you just like straight face like say to me like hey um uh like you know you 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 met marcus butler and so then literally for months i always kept thinking that he met marcus butler but he never did he just saw a guy that looked like marcus butler and then he asked to take a picture with him 
<laughs> and then I don't know. I, it's really funny though. That's why I love Weston though. He is such God. Weston is such a character. Like I fucking love Weston. Weston just. I think my favorite thing about Weston is that he just is so unapologetically himself, and it just like inspires me. Is it the one on his Instagram? I I guess so. I guess so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's 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 really glad I'm really glad to see um people noticing that Weston is is great because he really is. I just spoke to Tommy in it. Did you show them the gift yet? Oh, okay. You know what? Hold on. I'll get the gift real fast. All right. Hold on, I, I forgot to do that. Why Hold on, one sec, like one sec. Prime. Yo! All right. <clears throat> so, Hoover for my birthday really decided to treat me this year. Uh, I these do not fit me. I cannot even try to put them on, but um, Hoover got me some PJs, some Among Us PJs that have a bunch of uh, YouTubers on it, like BBH and Sapnap. Um, also on the tag, it said that this is made for first graders. So I don't know how you ever thought this was gonna fit me in any way. Um, there's also pants. The pants have Tubbo on them, um, and Filza, and Dream too. Um, oh wow, it even has Schlatt right here. That's, wow. I don't even know who created this, and I don't know who's wearing this, to be honest with you. Um, you can probably use it as like a long sleeve shirt. Yeah, if I ever want to wear like a crop top, because this shit's, my fucking... My fucking hairy ass belly button is definitely going to show if I wear this. I'm gonna look like a, I'm gonna look like a fucking dad who just got like let go from work, dude. Like, it's it's crazy. Wear it, bro. I literally listen. I can try to put it on right now, over my sweatshirt, and I can promise you, I don't think my head will fit through this. No, I can't try it on. I can't, dude. It's gonna like it's good. It's, I can't do it. <clears throat> He, he really spoiled you? No, yeah, he did. And then Emily Jane got me this otter, which I thought was very cute. I fell asleep with it when I when I first got it. Um, and uh, she also got me a big ass wine glass, the 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 girl power one. I thought that was that was nice. Um, it's really funny because <clears throat> Weston got me a name tag. Like, you know the name tags that you have on your desk? Um, where it just, like, says, like, it, it says, like, my full fucking name, and then it says Social Wizard. And it's always, I have it on my desk, and it's like a fucking game where every time I take a picture of my desk and, like, post it somewhere, I need to make sure that I don't dox myself. Because, like, my full name is just sitting on my table. Um, but it was a really funny, it was a really funny present from him. But yeah, this is, um... Wait, who else do we have here? Who's this? There's like no George. And there's no corpse either. Sapnap. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. You have no idea. The literal amount of like panic that goes through my head when I say something and then I legitimately like I my the way my brain works is I will say something and then literally one second later I will have forgotten entirely what I said and then I look at chat and everybody's just going like D colon or like they're going like Pago they're putting question marks it legitimately kills me I'm like oh my god what the fuck did I just say like what like what? <laughs> but then I remembered I said no George so I was like I was like okay that makes sense. 
Club Penguin Lover. Holy shit. Thank you so fucking much. Club Penguin Lover, you're you're a legend, seriously. I don't know why you're so kind to me, but I, I really appreciate it. Um also, what the fuck? Maybe I need to start streaming more during these hours. We have almost 2,000 viewers. I didn't think anybody was going to show up to this shit, but... What's up, guys? <laughs> um, delete the VOD? Yeah, I might need to delete it after the controversial statement I made of... No George not found on this PJ. Yeah, because we're bored. Oh, that's nice. I thought that was a raid. This is crazy. No, nope, no raid. This is optimal laundry folding time for real. True! True. True. Jessica, thank you for the Prime too. Thank you. Stonepaw adulting. Stonepaw, Stonepaw always be adulting. <clears throat> you mentioned Among Us and everyone came. True. Did you guys see how the Among Us Twitter account tweeted at me? Did you guys see that? Like, that's a thing that happened. The Among Us Twitter account like looked up indirects or some shit and they tweeted at me like hold on let me let me show you guys this where is it just out of nowhere i just open up my my twitter and i see oh they tweeted at me they said you doing okay and i said not until y'all give me that map but then i didn't want to like be an asshole so i said take your time and then they said we will do our best um, so yeah, me and Among Us are, are cool now, I guess. We're like besties and shit. <laughs> um, alright. I'll show you guys my TikTok likes. But, uh, beware. Some of these I cannot show. This one has 12, one of them has 12 million views. And that, that's the one that I cannot show. Just so you guys know I'm not I got weird. so many necklaces. Why you got necklaces? I just finished my Spanish final, so thank you for streaming and distracting me. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you for five months. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Okay. I forgot about how frustrating. Maybe it's like God complex in me, but I genuinely feel like I could hook up with Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like God complex in me, but I genuinely feel like I could hook up with Pete Davidson. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Oh my god, that is actually so good. Oh my god, I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh my god, that actually might be one of my favorite TikToks of all time. Like, seriously, that is... That is just too good. American be like, It's Nike, not Nike. What language are you speaking? <laughs> no, like, for real? You see this here? What's that? What's that? It's not a bike Americans be. <laughs> I just thought it was angry. I, I thought it was not. I didn't think it was angry. I just thought it was funny how angry he got. Lexi pants. What the fuck? Thank you so much for the five gifted. Holy crap! Holy crap! Thank you so much. Thank you. He did make a good point. Uh, sometimes it's fun to say Nike though. I guess. Oh, dude. Yeah, this guy's right here. Here we go. How long, dude? Yeah. Oh my god. I think I like this specifically because he does like everybody start pointing out how this guy has like no decorations and I realized that like this guy legitimately lives in like like hell like there's literally not a single like there's not even like a poster somewhere like it's just literally nothing um is Jake in chat what's up Jake he just like me for real. True. This is really like every white man. Me included. I mean, if I didn't have a green screen, it would just be my granny wallpaper. Oh god, that's so funny. That is truly hilarious. Let's see what else we got here. Um Oh yeah, the, it's cuz Oh, it's cuz the, it turned into Among Us. That's why. I was like that's funny. Oh, this one I thought was funny. <laughs> I just thought it was funny the comments cuz it was like uh my dad left, mine didn't. 
Can't relate. Damn, I can though. I, I just thought that was funny. Um, I thought it was very silly. Let's see what else. Oh, this one's good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know who he looks like. Oh, that's who he looks like. He looks like my mom's friend. Uh, who's a very nice lady. But it's just like the similarity is just uncanny. And I, I think I liked it so I, I could like send it to my mom or something. Um. Okay, I like this because I thought it was wholesome. I love Radiohead, by the way. I, I used to be like a fucking Radiohead stan and I love Paramore. But like, th me liking this guy's TikTok was one of the b worst mistakes I've ever made. W w like... This guy, all he does is just shit on music, and now it's all my For You pages, because I liked one of his TikToks. All I get is this guy giving his fucking hot takes and being like, oh, this album isn't even that good. I'm not trying to fucking hear this shit, man. Go back to Rate Your Music. That's why I think the worst part is, all these little Rate Your Music boys, they've all, they've all started crawling on a TikTok, and now all I see is their little, like, Travis Scott, like, hot takes. Like, I can't take it, man. Seriously. What happened? What do you mean, what fucking happened? What are you doing? Why are you oh, dressed you're like fucking that? Text your phone when you pick up your son. Fuck you. Why are you fucking? What is that though? You like a? Why you act like a moron? Don't worry about it. Put some it. clothes on. Hey, why are you like that? Fuck I'm gonna you. keep on beeping the horn. Yeah, fuck like you. Like a fucking idiot now. Fuck you. I'm gonna fucking give you a smack and then you're gonna see how it feels. Again, like Stupid a fucking ass. idiot, a moron. Keep you got a on. Problem with me? You yeah, problem yeah, with me? because I'm going to meet some. I, I can't take you out. What is all this? Incubus? Why does he keep shit? beeping the horn? The tattoos. Like, what is tattoos. that about? Tattoos. The fuck you, little guy, around move. I stop with the fucking horn. I'm telling you, right, right you now. Get your hat stop with the head. fucking horn. No, the fuck up. Stop. Like a fucking idiot. Cock sucking bastard. Come here. Fuck you, motherfucker. motherfucker. You want to mess with me? Fuck you. What happened? What do you mean? What I happened? just, I was like, I don't know what the hell is going on. So I just liked it. Um, let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, dude. This? Now look at this. This literally scares me. What the fuck? That is literally fucked up. What the fuck? Now look at this. That is literally so fucking scary. Now look at this. Hello there, Dan. Also, I thought this was crazy. Answer it best they can in the time I have. So ventriloquists use their tongue to make pee and other difficult sounds, and essentially, it does what the lips do in holding back the air and then releasing. Look at this. It, it doesn't even look like he's talking when he does it. Like our lips do. Puh, puh, puh. So the tongue tends like. to work around the roof of the mouth. Guppy for my Carly. Think of the three gifted. What the heck? Up there. Weird, I know. Please, and please, just do it already. Years of practice to get this right. Please. I used to walk to school every day, talking to myself. You are sad. Shut up. And um, that's how I developed the skill. So don't worry if you can't get the hang of it straight away. But to demonstrate, I need a puppet. So I've chosen a puppet at random. You need a voice. Look at this. Hello there. That's a weird voice. Look at this. Your fault. And it doesn't even look like he's talking. Words he's asked you to say. Look at that. That's crazy. This guy's good as hell. Impress. Yeah, a few other P words. Peter Piper, Peter Pecker. Look at that. Well done. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, well done to you too. Thank you. <laughs> That's he's cracked. Yeah, literally he is. That's best I can that's crazy. Um. Oh, this one was good. Alexa, can you play Gobber by six inch nine inch? <laughs> I can't find Goober by six inch nine Goober. inch in your music library. <laughs> Alexa, can you play Goober sixty nine? <laughs> Here's Cuba by 6 9 what, on Amazon what's Music. Coming? What's coming? I tell a nigga don't dick ride, don't blink ride, leave it to the double thick thighs, twin sisters. Drop it down and wobble, wobble up, mommy boot it up, she get down and gobble, gobble up, cause my money up. Slide, slide in the belly trucker, the rave trucker, your bestie is a dick sucker. Ah, stop it! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh god, that is, that is so Alexa, funny. Alexa, can you play Gobba by... Gobba. What is this one? Oh, I thought this was awesome. And the weather's so breezy. Man, why can't life always be this easy? She in the mirror dancing so sleazy. I get a call like, where are you, Yeezy? Got it. <clears throat> Graduation by Kanye West, like... I feel like I underrated it for a while because it's like his most like safe album, I feel like in a way. But also like 
I don't know if there's a more feel good album than Graduation by Kanye West. Like, it has so many good songs. Like, Flashing Lights makes me feel like I'm a bad bitch. Uh, Champion, I Wonder. Dude, such a good album. Such a good album. It literally, like, that is an album where I can always put it on and it'll make me feel good about myself. Just wanted to. <laughs> oh my god. That, this is so funny. I don't know if anybody's here from the days where, like, this was, like, two years ago. I remember Shu and I used to do Fortnite streams, and I used to continuously go into his streams, and I would be like, hey, do you want to play Fortnite? He'd be like, he'd be like yeah, man, I'd love to play Fortnite. And then he would make up, like, the weirdest fucking excuses. Like, I, I'd be like, all right, man, I added you. Let's play. And he'd be like, yeah, man, I added you back, man. And then he wouldn't like, I'd be like, no, you didn't. You didn't fucking add me back. That's, I didn't even, you haven't even made an attempt to add me back. And he'd be like, no, no, man, just check your friends list. I'll play with you soon, man. And I'd be like, I just, like, I wanted to do it for a video. So I was like, come on, like, let's play. And he'd be like, yeah, yeah. And then at one point, like, <laughs> he, he was like, I, he like quit streaming on YouTube and he started streaming on Twitch. And I went into a show, I was like, Shunice, are you still up for that game? He's like, Oh, look, it's that bitch, actually. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what, what, like, what the, I thought we were cool. He was like, fuck you. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I thought we were, like, chill. Um, and we never, we like never played Fortnite. We never played Fortnite. Dude, you wouldn't believe the people that I've had beef with. Like, it is, like, you know, Viper the Rapper, who's like, y'all cowards, don't even smoke crack. Like, hold on, let me play his song real quick. Um... Let me play it. You might have heard this. God damn it. My Spotify doesn't even fucking work. I can't even play it. But if you know Viper the Rapper, uh, you know how ridiculous this is. Me and Viper the Rapper had beef because my friend was like making a song and we wanted to get him the feature on it. So I DM'd him and he kept like trying to sell me these cassettes. And I was like, I don't want to buy your fucking cassettes, bro. I just want you to fucking like, I want you to like do a verse for my friend. And then he was like, fuck you. And he, he like kept calling my mama a hoe. He kept saying, your mama's a hoe. And I was like, what does that have to do with anything? I just want you to fucking, I want you to fucking do like a, a, a verse. And then I kept like, um, I, I kept like stoking the fire. I was like, hey, <laughs> this has to be fake. No, it's true. Like I still have the DMs. I can't show them because I'm not going to lie. He said some not very nice things to me. He did, some things he said, I don't know if I'm allowed to show them on stream. Like he, I'm not going to lie. He went in on me. Um, also, let me just play the song. This is... It's this guy. The guy who made this song. He tried to sell me cassettes and then he got mad at me when I didn't want to buy them. Yeah. <sighs> What's up with that? Y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. We got TXL1A. Thank you the prime. Thank you. I don't know. <clears throat> this dude putting stands onto Viper. Yeah, these, you know. Oh, this I, this I thought just looked cool. I want to do something like that. What are you doing in the drain, idiot? Oh, this guy's just cool. What are you doing in the drain, idiot? <laughs> um. Oh, this guy. Says all the time, I would literally kill myself if I was a man. Well, statistically speaking, you're actually correct. You should statistically speak to some bitches. <laughs> Say this all the time, I, I just love how he's sitting in a dark room. Like, <laughs> also, this fucking guy, I legitimately hate him. I, I pop a gut. Fuck you. I can't stand you. I literally, like, shut the fuck up. Like, seriously, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Like, I can't fucking bear every time, for some reason, whenever the fucking TikTok algorithm puts you on my For You page, I legitimately feel insulted. Like, I legitimately, I take it as a great insult when TikTok thinks that you cater content to me. I, I, I never, I've never felt more offended. Oh, this. Bitch, I'm gonna really the spinner. That's how I found that song. The one with the Minecraft beat. It it goes hard, man. I love it. It's so good. 
also this. Base kind of fight, sap, nap, using fucking sap, map. God, I, fucking I got some, I got some, I like, this, uh, I got some, like, appreciation uh, for my Matt, legendary verse. Is Henry in chat? What's up, Henry? Have I seen the TikTok you DM'd me? On t you DM'd me a TikTok? Was this on TikTok? Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. How do I even check DMs? <laughs> I don't even fucking... Oh, here we go. No, you didn't DM me anything. Where'd you DM me? Discord? Oh. Let me check this. <clears throat> What's this? Honey! Honey! Did the trade brokers come in yet? <laughs> Honey! Do you love me? Honey! 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 Did the trade brokers come in yet? <laughs> I know you didn't mean what you said. Oh my god. I know you didn't mean <laughs> No, I know you didn't mean that. No, I know you love me. Real talk. I know you want to support me. Did the, did the drug folks come in yet? No, shut the fuck up. You're going to wake the baby up. Stop cursing. No, I can't. Stop cursing. <laughs> Be quiet. It's love. No. I mean, Dude, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this was like, the this, was I think this was like the third era of DJ Khaled. And I think this was like his best era. Like this was his funniest. Like this is when he became so self-aware and he would legitimately just do like the funniest fucking shit. Like it is insane what he would do. Like, I, I I remember I used to, like, I literally unadded him on Snapchat at one point, but then when this era came, I added him back, and I was I would watch every story. Dude, my favorite thing would be how this guy would literally, like, be like, I'm on this, like, vegan keto diet, and he would be on this diet for legitimately, like, two years, and literally, like, he made no progress. But he would be like, I'm working out, I'm doing this keto. Like, he, this guy did nothing. He would, like, he would do it for the snap, and then he would just, like, he would, like, fucking, like, go to McDonald's. <clears throat> the video of him in the dark on the jet ski is so funny. That is one of the most legendary things ever, I feel like. Him just documenting that whole thing. Like, like this guy was just... I don't know, like, uh, he made documentaries. What is this? What is, oh. Oh, uh, I just... Okay. So I like this talk TikTok, which I I read this and I was like, why did I like this, right? And then the reason why I liked it was because this girl, for some reason, has an outro. And I was like, why the fuck? Where do you even get that from? Where do you even like get the idea of <laughs> like that outro is like the most fucking extra shit ever? Like it is it is legitimately I don't I, I don't I didn't get it. Um What is this? Oh, this TikTok was good. Shout out to Hamza. Are you serious? I've never been asked that before. <laughs> I didn't understand what the fuck was going on here, but it was so good. <laughs> oh, man. That is that. That's why I love Hamza, man. Hamza is the best. Watch the TikToks I DM'd you. You DM'd me TikToks? On what? Discord? Oh yeah, he did. Holy shit. How am I supposed to watch these? You sent me them as like... Hold on. Can I open these up? What? Okay. How do I... How am I supposed to like... Okay, I'll show them one by one. People want to date me until they realize. This looks like you. You and like Connor eats pants. If you had a son, that is that is literally who are like if you and Connor eats pants had a son, this is exactly what the son would look like. <laughs> Alright, let's see this one. What do you got here? <laughs> Nick, what? Let me see this one. Have to do it now. 
Who's that? Bro, that's Drew ABC's. Mod of the show, Drew ABC's. Drew ABC's TikTok was just sent by 24 frames of Nick. Wow. Wow. That is a good TikTok, though. I don't know, man. When I when I say that you guys are funny, like, I think there's so many funny people in the community. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, following Drew ABCs was a good decision because he is so funny. I just I see Drew's tweets on the timeline, and I'm like, God damn, that was funny. That was silly. XQC saw the video. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Why are people using that song of Eminem now? Do they know what that song's about? Like, do they know that that song is literally about Eminem orgasming? Like, why is everybody... <clears throat> why is everybody, like, on that wave? Y'all don't know? That song is literally about Eminem orgasming. Like, when he goes like, eh, like, that's him orgasming. Y'all kids, Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem. No, no. <clears throat> oh, God. <clears throat> Goodbye, Shanny Pants. No, no. <clears throat> you know what? Fuck it, man. I feel good. I feel like we're all having such a great morning, such a great night, wherever the fuck we are. Let's watch a Dar Man video, man. I feel it, man. I feel it. One Dar Man video. I feel like it'll do some good for us, man. Let's see. Um Let me let me pull one up. Mean bosses mistreat employees, instantly regrets it. Ah, we've seen that one a hundred times. Mean girls on TikTok shame mom. Okay. That's what we're doing. We're, we're th that is literally the one we're doing. I don't even want to hear it. What is that song that's like? I don't want to. I don't want to. Beautiful soul. That's a good song. Hold on, I lost it. Where is it? Where? Hello? Where did I? Hello? TikTok, here it is. Holy shit, this has 9 million views. Crazy. Hello? Am I back? The audio? No, not again. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. What happened to my audio now? Why does that happen every fucking time? What? What the fuck? Hold on, let me... Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Is it okay now? Or is it fucked? What happened to it? Hello? Hold on, I need to- I need to- wait, why did I do that? I need to hear this for myself. Oh no. What happened to it? Ah. Uh, what happened to it? What the fuck? Uh, why? What the fuck? Uh, why? Why does it sound like this? Why? Why does it sound like this? Uh, 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 u
Guys, I don't know what to do. Why is it fucked? Hold on, let me try this. Let me see if this fixes it. Hold on. Oh my god, this is so scary. Hello? Hello? Just if it's for music too. Y'all can't even hear the music. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Don't even smoke gray. Hey to you. I got so many necklaces. Like oh no, the music's fucked too. Poojas. This is fucked up, man. What the hell is going on? This is fucked up, man. What the hell is going on? Literally, like, how is this even, like, a real problem? Like, how does this even happen? Like, my fucking internet drops out and then the whole audio goes to shit! My fucking internet drops out and then the whole audio goes to shit! Dude, what the hell is happening with the chat? Holy shit, look at that. Dude, what the hell is happening with the chat? Also, Holy what's shit, happening that? behind me? That is so scary. What's happening behind me? That is so scary. I'm so scared. That is so scary. I'm so scared. Oh, jeez, Rick. I'm so scared. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Fernando the Fantastic, thank you so much. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, I feel like what'll fix it is me restarting Streamlabs. Okay, I feel like but I swear to God, I will literally be back in one second if you motherfuckers leave. I swear to God, if I come back and the viewer count is dropped, I don't know what to tell you guys, alright? Don't leave, I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't leave, I'll be back. I'm really dizzy too. Hold on one sec. I'm really busy too. 